I do not advise people to use a CGM without guidance, without professional guidance. And here's why. I say this because I've had people sign up to work with me or join my group programs who have been using continuous glucose monitors on their own, but they don't know what to do with the data. And even people working with an endocrinologist often have trouble because they don't fit into the, um, the model that an endocrinology clinic is accustomed to looking at yet. So my name is Karen Kennedy and I own Real Food Matters and I support people improving their blood sugar and metabolism using continuous glucose monitors. Um, I look at people's continuous glucose monitors every single day, either in group programs or working with people one-on-one. -on -one. And I know there are some fab tech companies out there. And I, I mean that, I think they're great companies. And they'll hook you up with a continuous glucose monitor, or you can go to some online pharmacies and purchase a continuous glucose monitor to do on your own. And I'm a huge proponent of, you know, any kind of biohacking where you're getting some data and feedback, whether it's on your sleep, on your blood sugar, heck, on your blood pressure, um, so that you can see how food, stress, exercise, sleep, and all those things affect you so you can make wise choices. But here's the thing, there's a lot of nuance to interpreting your continuous glucose monitor data. And it's not just because you don't have a nutrition background. In fact, I train a lot of dietitians on how to use continuous glucose monitors. And most of them, I advise them to do it on themselves first. And I very often then need to have a call with them because they are worried about their blood sugar they misinterpret things. And these are people who are very experienced. They know how to deal with blood sugar issues, but they're not used to using a continuous glucose monitor. And the reason is, is these have been around for years, but they've all, the experience and training has been in using them in the context of usually type one diabetes and sometimes more extreme, more severe type two diabetes but we're using them with people with less severe type two diabetes or pre-diabetes, or just trying to improve erratic blood sugar to improve health. So learning to look at that, it's, it's a completely different skill. So like I said, I have looked at hundreds of people's continuous glucose monitor data. So it's really straightforward to me to talk to someone, look at their data and know when it could be a sensor area, era and error and when to discuss that with the company. Um, is food the problem? And if food is the problem, then what should be done and how long should we expect that to take? Some people think, oh, I've, I've modified my diet and it's still not low. And they don't know, you know, if you just stay the course here, that over the next couple of days and weeks, it'll gradually improve. You don't have to make more changes. Sometimes food is not the problem. And I see this so often that people are banging their head against the wall, modifying their food, restricting carbohydrates unnecessarily sometimes, doing more and more fasting, when in fact, it's stress or sleep that's the issue. And if that's the case, then we need to dive into there and know what to do. But really, it can be so frustrating that I've seen people's continuous glucose monitor data from before they worked with me, and you can see their glucose levels going higher and higher and higher because their stress levels are going higher and higher as they look at data that they don't understand and don't know what to do with. So when you are making the investment to purchase continuous glucose monitors and get some kind of support, you're making a financial investment and a time investment. That investment will go to waste if you don't come away with an understanding of what is affecting my blood sugar the most and what are the action steps that I need to take and what's the minimum effective dose of action steps, right? So you don't have to do all the things. And I know in my four week groups, we do kind of an intensive four week group program. Everybody comes away with understanding what the big factors are for them and what the main action steps are to take. And so they can take action. They don't have to keep using a continuous glucose monitor, right? So I really encourage you to get some support however that is. And if you want to use a continuous glucose monitor and get set up, I can help you with that. If you're already using one in a different context, 
you can bring that in and I'd be happy to work with you. You can click the link below to learn how to get into one of my groups or set up a coaching call where we just go over your CGM data.